Hello guys! Welcome to Filipino Eye Curving Time. Kung bago lang sa aking channel, huwag kalimutang subscribe and hit the bell para laging updated sa aking bagong videos. Ito na mga ingredients natin sa paggawa ng toothpaste. So, unahin natin yung water. 1 fourth cup, 1 eighth bar unsalted butter. Kung wala tayong butter, pwede gumamit ng margarine. Ayan. And then, iodized salt. All-purpose flour, 1 fourth cup. And then, 1 piece small beaten egg or 1 fourth cup beaten egg. So we have, we are going to combine the water and then salt. Okay, ah. so nandito na yung salt together with the water. And then open natin yung ating. So ilagay na rin natin yung ating butter. So if in case we don't have any butter, we can use the, we can use the margarine. Okay. And then, open natin yung kalan into medium heat. So, as you can see, kumukulo na. Kita nyo ba, guys? So, once naman kumukulo na, ilagay na natin yung ating flour. And then, continuous mixing lang tayo. So, pinatay ko muna yung apoy. Patay muna yung apoy. And then, you are going to incorporate everything. So, rest lang natin to. So, make sure na malamig na yung ating toothpaste. Dito sa itlog, huwag natin ilagay lahat ha. Kaunti-unti. Okay? And then, Konti-unti lang. And then, continuous mixing na naman tayo. Ang paghalo ka ito, tinan niyo ang paghawak ko. So, we have already here the two paste. So, ilalagyan natin sa ating pastry bag. If in case naman natin yung pastry bag, we can use the zip lock. Okay? So, guys, guys, you know how we're going to put the letter C. Like letter C. So, paglalagay ng ating pastry bag. Or, or, kung meron kayong mga baso dyan, it's better nilagay doon. Pwede rin baso. So, gagawa tayo ng eclair and then cream pop. Okay, this will be the cream pop. Okay. 
Okay? Ito yung cream pa. Kita nyo? And then we have also the eclair. Ang eclair ay pahaba. So possible, ang sukat ng eclair is 3 to 4 inches. Okay? 3 to 4 inches. Kita nyo ba guys? So this will be the, the eclair. Kawa pa tayo ng cream pop. Cream pop ay bilog ha. Bilog. Cream pop. Anong bilog? Ano yung bilog class? Yung pa. Yung pa haba. Ano yung pa haba? Clear. How do you... Kumuha lang ng water. Ito yung water. And then, i-dip natin yung ating kamay. So, gano'n lang yan para di siya lumikit. Okay, this will be the test da. Okay. So, that's it. We're done sa paggawa ng toothpaste na ating clear and cream pop. Ito yung tinatawag nating cream pop. And the other one is eclair. Remember, ang eclair are 4 inches or 3 to 4 inches. So, for this one, ating toothpaste, we are going to bake this one into 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown. Okay? And after that, i-transfer na natin into the wire rack and then magiging cool completely. And then, i-prepare na natin agad yung ating custard. Okay? Next, dito naman tayo sa pag-prepare ng custard fillings. So, kailangan natin ng 2 pieces egg yolk, 1 8th cup white sugar, 1 tablespoon cornstarch. If in case na wala tayong cornstarch, pwede tayong gumamit ng all-purpose flour. And then, 1 cup fresh milk. Dito sa fresh milk, if in case na wala tayong fresh milk, pwede tayong gumamit ng evaporated milk na pang substitute natin. Paano ang gagawin? So, kailangan natin is 1 8 cup water at the same time, 1 8 cup evaporated milk. Ikaw-combine lang natin yun. So, we are going to combine everything, the ingredients. So, we have the egg yolk, the flour, the sugar, and then, evaporated milk. If in case, we don't have any fresh milk, we can use the evaporated milk as a substitute. Okay? So, we need the fresh milk, 1 fourth cup. So, anong kailangan natin? So, kailangan natin ng 1 8 water at the same time, 1 8 evaporated milk. Okay? Mimix muna natin. Mix all together. Anan. Okay? Hindi... Bawal iwanan na habang niluluto because we need continuous na pag-mix ng ating ingredients. Okay? Hindi tulad sa jo mo iwanan ka lang basta-basta. Dito, bawal iwanan. Kung hindi, masisira yung ating custard fillings. 
Sana all may jowa, di ba? So, nakita nyo, naging thick na siya. So, ito yung maging texture na ng ating custard fillings. Kita nyo ba ganyan? Oh. So, yan na. Tapos na. Tapos na yung ating custard fillings. So, ito yung ating custard fillings. Kita nyo, guys. So, lagay natin ito sa cooling rack ang ating cream pop. I-clear. So, as you can see, oh, Take a look. This will be the cream pop. Lahat ng bilo. Next guys, dito sa ating chocolate glaze, sa ating eclair. So we need 30 grams sweet chocolate blocks. And then, 1 half tablespoon evaporated milk. And then, 1 tablespoon butter. So, ang ating ingredients ay 30 grams of choco, chocolate, 1 half tablespoon of evaporated milk, and then 1 tablespoon butter. Okay? So, yun lang. So, ilagay ko na yung ating chocolate. Ang ginawa ko sa chocolate ay hinihiwa ko na pwedeng grated. Ganun ang gagawin nyo. And then, the next is yung water. I mean yung ating milk and then butter. So, ganito maging itsura ng ating glaze. Ayan. So, gamit lang tayong double broiler. So, tapos na ating glaze. You can see, this will be already the cream puff. And then, i-clear. So, gagawin natin is lalagyan natin ng fillings. Lalagyan natin ang custard. This will be the custard filling. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut. Okay. So, take a look. So, walang laman sa loob. At the same time with our cream pop. Walang laman sa loob. Okay. So, lalagay natin ng fillings. Ang tawag sa fillings natin ay custard fillings. Okay? So, after putting the fillings, so, pwede natin close. At the same time with our eclair. Same fillings that we are going to use. Okay. Glaze. Place our eclair. Okay? Idadunk lang natin. Dunk. So, after that one, we're done. So, this will be already our this will be our eclair. Okay? So, 
So remember our clear, we are going to use the chocolate. And then the cream puff, we are using the caramelized. So, we did that natin, guys. So, before we're going to have the caramelized, lalagyan natin na ito ng shortening or lard para sa ating caramelized. Okay? Next guys, dito sa paggawa ng caramelized glazing sa ating cream puff. So, gagamit tayo ng 1 fourth cup sugar and then 2 tablespoon water. Dito guys, combine natin lahat ng mga ingredients natin. So, this will be alright our caramelized. Kaya lang natin hanggang ito ay maluto at magkaroon siya ng pop. So once na nag-brown na siya, automatically, that's the time na nilalagay na natin dito sa ating cream pop. So make sure ang ating plate, nalagay natin ng, ng lard or shortening para hindi didikit. Once na hindi natin nalagyan ng lard yan, masyado siya madikit at mahirap hugasan. So remember, for the caramelized glaze, for the cream puff only, we need one cup of... So that's the time na lalagyan natin sa ating cream puff. Okay? So, we're done sa paggawa ng cream puff. So, this will be our eclair with chocolate glaze and then cream puff with caramelized glaze. Okay, this will be our cream puff and this our eclair. So, happy cooking! Kung nagustuhan mo ang aking videos, huwag kalimutan mag-like and share. Happy cooking! Maraming salamat!